Hi, I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com, your online piano store with a Yamaha Grand Piano, the model G3. Made in Japan in 1969, when Yamaha was just becoming a major force in the international piano industry. And it's because of pianos like this that Yamaha is where they are today. This is what introduced the world to the quality of their pianos. The good news about this G3 at six foot one inches is that it's a California piano, so it has zero environmental damage, and it was barely played, so the action is plenty of good felt on the hammers. The case is okay. It looks very pleasing in the room. If you look closely, you can see aspects of its age when you catch the light just right on these shiny finishes, but otherwise it looks quite splendid, as you can tell from the video. I'm gonna play three selections for you to give different period styles and different tastes of what this piano is capable of, starting with a, the beginning of the Pathetique Sonata of Beethoven. Just the first section shows a lot because you have a lot of powerful chords and yet very delicate playing as well in a short amount of time. You don't get any of that metallic edge the way you sometimes do get on Asian pianos. That's because the hammers have plenty of good life and we have expert technicians who know how to voice the pianos to get this kind of sound. I wasn't holding back. Sometimes when I'm playing Asian pianos, I have to kind of throttle my power so it doesn't get too crunchy or distorted. On this piano, I'm able to let it go. And on the flip side, you're going to hear now Debussy's The Little Shepherd from his Children's Corner Suite, a little gem of a piece. Listen to the delicate pianissimo at all the different levels of pianissimo, from softer to softer to softer, and everything speaks and sings.
That's a little gem of a piece, isn't it? And you need a piano that's regulated in voice to such a fine extent in order to be able to control different levels of softness and still get a musical fluid line like you heard there. Of course, I want to end now with something from the Romantic era. This shows what it sounds like really opening up on this piano. Just a little bit of the last movement of Schumann's monumental Carnival. This is his march in three, four time, which you don't think about. Who has three legs after all? But Schumann, crazy man that he was, and that's a, a subject for another video, listen to this beauty of the piano opening up and without the harshness you sometimes get on lesser instruments. Of course, it's six foot one inch. You got the long bass strings, the big soundboard. So it's not a surprise that it can achieve this. So here's Schumann for you. gives you a taste of what this piano is capable of. It's a pleasure playing it. It's great to find a piano that's been well cared for, you know. I've seen 10-year-old pianos that are thrashed. And when you find an older piano, especially Asian pianos, in good shape like this, it's a real pleasure. So now, if you look at the price of new Yamaha 6.3, they've gotten extremely expensive. To be able to get a G3, which is a Fine scale design in this kind of condition for a great price is a real find if it's the sort of piano you're after. Any piano questions you have, by the way, send them to us here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store. And thanks again for joining me, Robert Estrin.